Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Bonnie Productive. Um, uh, I have been studying history and have been really into history lately. So I'm going to tell you a bit facts and history about Fremantle in this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more if you're into history and you don't feel like reading. Yeah. City of Fremantle today has different issues compared to what it did in the history. Fremantle now has issues with homeless tent city, which I have seen, um, that has been closed down as violence got through the, to the town. Government has moved the homeless from Fremantle area. So basically they didn't, they haven't resolved the problem. They moved them from one area of Fremantle to another one in the city. So, ships are bringing COVID from Indonesia. Uh, the infected passengers are put to ho hospitals or hostels for hotels for isolation. This may be, may be in history 200 years ago. 200 years ago time going into the future. Fremantle is also having problems with shops and businesses closing down after three lockdowns in Western Australia. We have had the least lockdowns here in Western Australia, but uh, st still a lot of, a lot of uh, shops have closed down due to COVID issues. I think that people have lost business and stuff. City of Fremantle has its positive size. Its local government area in South Perth, Western Australia, South of, of Perth, not South Perth, South of Perth. Do you like my earrings, guys? Western Australia, Fremantle today has a population of 28,893, up to 30,868 people living there in uh, 2018. It was first established in uh, in 1870 and covers 19.0 kilometers. So I have a little map here of what Fremantle looks like. Yeah. Fremantle has a train station correcting it directly to Perth and surrounding suburbs. Fremantle connects Perth via Transline and freeway, also by Swan River cruises going daily. I have done a Swan River cruise in Fremantle. It was amazing. Can you even see me? <laughs> Fremantle surrounding suburbs: Beaconsfield, Fremantle, Hilton, North Fremantle, Okona, Samson, and South Fremantle. I went to South Fremantle Senior High School. Entertainment in Fremantle, Baders, Baders Beach, the Run House, the Run House is very historical, WA Shipwreck Museum, Esplanade Park and Youth Plaza, Fremantle Prison, Rottnest Island, Fremantle Boat Harbour, Fremantle Markets which are good to visit on a warm day um, on the weekend, Fremantle Club, Clubs and bars, little creatures, great outdoors and uh, the water, Cinderella, classic fish and chips. I go there sometimes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, Fremantle has bus terminal that has regular buses going to all connecting suburbs. Fremantle has buses 530, 531, 532 can connect visitors with Coburn and Rockingham areas. When I lived in Spearwood, I used to catch that bus. I think I'm in the camera. <laughs> I used to catch that bus and uh, yeah, it was nice living near Fremantle. Fremantle uh, has, uh, there are two cat buses in Fremantle. They are orange color and have labels as A and B and help passengers to, to, to tell the difference. So you get got to look at which circle route you want to go to. Is it A or is it B?
The Fremantle in the past was more boring place to visit. It didn't have any shops, cafes, clubs or boys. Streets were looked older, lacking traffic. People were using were using less smartphones. So there was no smartphones in the history, obviously. Shops would have had different style of fashion. Taxes looked different. Some places used to use used for different services than what they are today. So if something was close today, it would have been something um, totally different back in the history. Not even a food store, maybe. Fremantle was discovered by the Dutch explorer in the 16,000s. Fremantle was the first era settled by Swan River colonies in the 18,000, I think I said that right, sorry. In the, I will put it down, down in comments underneath. In the name after Captain Cook, English naval officer who claimed the west coast of New Holland as British territory. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Close thereafter, Captain James Sterling arrived from England to begin the Swan River colony of Perth in 1829. It was Captain Sterling who named the port Fremantle after Captain after Captain Fremantle, the captain of HMS Challenge. I don't know what the HMS Challenge is. <laughs> if you know, you can comment below. Uh, Fremantle beginning was different to other colonies that had already been established in the East New South Wales because it was originally populated by people who immigrated here by choice. So this is the Swan River. It was a military and civilian settlement, not a settlement for convict. As at least not yet. They had a challenge time entering Cogman Sound. Both ships sustaining damage and rocks and permelia and was r run around by uh, but arrived safely. In looking over the last the list of passengers of permelia, the ship charted by English government to carry passengers. We noticed many positions of people who were to carry out their duties in the settlement. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a harbour master, sovereign and assistant, six plus children, surgeon assistant surgeon plus five children, I tried to imagine the, the voyage were England or Western Australia from months around 36 meters vessel. I could not. The boat to Rodness is, is fun enough. By 1832, there were 1,500 people in Swan River Colony. Oh, that's a lot of people. Hmm. During these first 20 to 30 years, Life was life was hard for new settlers. The issue was of one of the faulty. The Swan River simply winds through a sandy flat. Not only the vegetation hard to clear, but once it was clear, it was good good earth, just lots of sand. The report received back in England were not good. Of course, people decided to migrate everywhere else, which caused even more problems. Manpower was needed to build the ritual. I've got another picture here to show you. <laughs> Communications, transport and administration officer framework if the colony was to succeed. 
there was a depression in 1843 which almost ended in colony forever. However, the suggestion was suggestion of York Agriculture Society in 1847. This is the opinion of the of this meeting. As the present land regulation have uh, entirely destroyed our labor fund, we convinced that home government of board justice to supply us some kind of labor. And after mat mature deliberations, we have come to the determination of petition uh, Secretary of State and the colonies gang of 40 convicts to be exclusively employed in the public work. Back then in the history, the convicts had to do work. So they had to be employed in the society. They were not lazy like today. The picture in Fremantle Roundhouse is the oldest picture of building in Western Australia. Fremantle Roundhouse is actually the oldest building in whole of Australia. So yeah. It was built to hold any person convicted of a crime in settlement and was used until 1886. Henry Wiley, Wiley designed the Fremantle Roundhouse, sorry if I mispronounce his name, it intended as a prison. It had eight cells and a jailer residence. It had also opened up a courtyard so they could go in the court and exercise. <laughs> In uh, 1978, the Fremantle Roundhouse was used for ceremonies. People pretend that it was a social dance hall. People brought their Bibles for gatherings. Today, Fremantle Roundhouse is a touristy destination. It offers history tours and quizzes for children. I'd like to visit Fremantle Roundhouse. And that is all I have for Fremantle, but Fremantle is a popular suburb overall to live in and um, it has a lot of a lot of little businesses still alive and uh, yeah tell me what you think and if you agree and if, if I mispronounce something English is my second language sorry I'll show you my Christmas tree <laughs> Bye-bye.